The two equations on your screen together are considered a system of equations. And what I'm going to do is solve this system of equations by either using substitution or elimination. Those are your two methods. I am going to use substitution in this case, and the reason is because one of my variables is already isolated in one of the equations. In other words, the first equation, y equals 6x minus 11, already has y by itself. So if you have a system in front of you where either x is already by itself or y is already by itself, or it looks like you could just take one step in getting one of the variables by itself, then I would use substitution. So that's what I'm going to do. In substitution, what you're doing is substituting one of the variables for what it is equal to. So since I know that y is 6x minus 11, I can go ahead and replace the y in the second equation with 6x minus 11. The big thing here is to make sure you plug it in in parentheses. So as you can see, all I've done is rewritten that second equation. But instead of y, I put parentheses 6x minus 11. And now when you look at this, x is the only variable I have left, which means I can go ahead and solve for x. So if you want to pause the video and try that yourself, I would encourage you to do that. Otherwise, I'm going to go on and solve for x here. First thing I'm doing is distributing. So distributing the negative 3 would give me negative 18x plus 33. Now I'm going to combine like terms. That would give me negative 20x. And now I'm going to move the 33 over to the other side. And now the final step to get x by itself would be to divide the negative 20 over to the other side. So I have my x value, which means I have half of my solution. Whenever you're solving a system, you're finding both equations, or you're finding both variables in the equations. So in this case, you need to be solving for both x and y. So far, I have x equals 2. Now that I have one of my answers, I have to find the other. You can go back and use whichever equation you want from the system and replace your x with 2, leaving you with y. So I'm going to use the first equation. That one looks a little simpler than the second equation. So instead of 6x minus 11, I'm going to write 6 times 2 minus 11. So again, I've just plugged in what I found for x, and now all I'm left with is y. So I know that y is 12 minus 11, or y is equal to 1. So you can write your answer like this, or... The solution to a system is where those functions intersect on a graph. So that means if you were to put both of these lines on a graph, they would cross each other with an x value of 2 and a y value of 1, or also known as the point 2 comma 1. So you could also have your answer as an ordered pair here.